how you doing? Just got back from watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. And basically the story is with this one, it's there's been several remakes of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but this one is supposedly a direct sequel from the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So the beginning of the movie takes place about 10 or 15 minutes after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre ends. Um, you see the cops come to the house of the family and all hell ensues. And then it jumps forward, you know, to the present day, basically. Although it couldn't have took place in 1974 because all the characters would be too old uh, for the ages that are portrayed in this movie. That's one thing that I noticed. Uh, so whatever, if you don't know anything about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's a, basically about a family in Texas. And they're basically like crazy cannibals. And the main one that everybody knows about is... The one guy, Leatherface. Um, and Leatherface is like sort of like your stereotypical slasher killer, only he's kind of like mentally deranged. He's like developmentally delayed, retarded, whatever you want to call it. I don't like to use that word, but. Um, and he wields a chainsaw and wears a dead skin mask. So, what did I like and what I didn't like about this movie? First of all, the 3D part, completely unnecessary. Um, you know, of course, you get the chainsaw in the face or whatever. So, um, I mean, that's the only good part about the 3D. And also, too, one little thing I did like about the 3D was at the beginning, they have a, the title sequence, and it shows clips from the old original film. And uh, they, like, did them in 3D, which was kind of interesting to see the original film and little clips of it in 3D. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so, basically, what is this movie about? So it takes place in present day, and it basically follows the formula of most of your slasher-type films you got two hot looking girls and two regular guys. Um, they wind up going to this house in Texas and it's kind of emulates the original film in a lot of ways. There's a lot of shots that emulate the original film. Um, a lot of little setups and stuff that emulate the original film. And then it kind of becomes its own little thing. Um, at the end of the movie, they kind of takes a twist and uh, Leatherface kind of becomes like an anti-hero and you're supposed to feel sorry for him, I guess, or something, which I really didn't buy. Um, first of all, you know, the acting in this movie is not that good, but that's most horror movies, so I didn't really hold that against it. Um, there's no intentional comedy, but people in the theater were laughing. I mean, the lead actress takes so many spills, it's, you know, just hilarious after a while, people were laughing out loud. And the cops in this movie are some of the stupidest cops, even for horror movies, these cops are stupid. Uh, one cop, I don't want to spoil it too much, but he goes into the house, and basically, they never send backup, and it's never mentioned again, and... The movie goes on its own way. Um, I don't want to ruin too much of the plot for you. It does take a little bit of a twist towards the end, which I kind of appreciated them trying to give it a little more than just basically remaking the film and calling it a sequel. Um, that part was okay. I think I'm only going to give the film 2.5 out of 5. Um, it's below average. If you're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, of course you're going to like it a little more. I found it enjoyable because it was kind of funny and... I'm telling you, the lead actresses in this movie are smoking, man. I want to know. That's the question of the day. Which actress you thought was the best? Uh, the lead or the friend that was the lead, man? I, my God, that, they stole the show right there. So, um, but yeah, 2.5 out of 5. I wouldn't spend the money to watch it in 3D. Watch it in 2D, definitely, if you're going to go see it in the theater. Actually, I would just recommend that you probably just rent it. But if you're a big fan and you got to see it, go check it out. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.